Most school leaders would love to get more data to help struggling students quickly, monitor progress with peace of mind and no surprises, and help teachers simplify their lives and focus on students. While this sounds great, it can be very difficult. Some of the obstacles that get in our way in frequent stale data. A lot of the times data that schools are looking at is it's, uh, it's difficult to collect and then it's, it's old by the time that, that teachers are looking at it. So with all in learning, you can get fresh, actionable data on a daily and weekly basis. So you can identify problems way earlier in the process and intervene with those students in a much more timely fashion. Overwhelmed teachers is another common obstacle. Teachers already burn the midnight oil, asking them to do more by collecting data by hand, tabulating it into spreadsheets, is, uh, is, it's, it's overwhelming. So, but the data is necessary to really move the needle at our campuses. So, All in Learning provides easy ways for teachers to not only collect data, but save time in the process. Teachers save about five to eight hours a week across their existing strategies. Um, and you can check out uh, some of our other videos that address that. Your students and teachers will both love the ways that we can collect data so quickly and easily in all in learning. Number three is initiative fatigue. So many times when teachers start a new school year, there's new initiative after new initiative, and you don't want just one more thing. With all in learning, your teachers can have one tool that can help them across multiple grades and subjects, something that they can use on a daily and weekly basis. They can save time, again, and it's something that you can build buy-in around. So all of your teachers have one place to go to collect and look at daily and weekly engagement, formative and summative data. Teachers are resourceful, they're creative, and when there's not a system in place to help them collect data, they'll use spreadsheets, they'll use whiteboards, they'll use um, websites and apps. The challenge is, is that data is all over the place. There's not a cohesive strategy around collecting and looking at that data. So while teachers are doing their absolute best, um, you as a building leader, you won't know how they're, what's actually happening. So with all in learning, you have one place for the data, multiple ways to collect the data, and as a team, you'll know exactly where the campus is. And then all of these factors, all these obstacles make us, a lot of times, we'll just feel stuck. We've plateaued, we've reached as high as we're going to be able to reach and, and progress. So by overcoming these obstacles with all in learning, we can break through to the next level. All right, it's, it's easy. It's not something that requires uh, everyone to put in extra, extra time, but actually we're going to save time and we're going to have the data that we need to help our struggling students quickly and early. We want to in progress monitor our students with, uh, with no surprises and with peace of mind. And then all of this is going to help our teachers simplify their lives and focus on our students.